Surprise! We've got a new furry. I were planning on getting um, another uh, dwarf because uh, <laughs> I was I was uh, planning on getting a robo. So, uh, but they had no robos in till next Wednesday. Uh, I was looking at some babies yesterday. They've got them in, but they're not ready till next Wednesday. That's what I should say. So I'm going back next Wednesday because I'm still going to get a robo. See if I can catch one. I don't mean catch one. I mean if I can. Get one before they go. But I saw this little lady in the adoption. And um, she's nine weeks old. She's uh, my first Russian dwarf. And she's gorgeous. And uh, nobody wanted her because she's got red eyes. And her, and her sister was with her. They, they were just left there. So I thought, well, I, I, I'd... Um, it doesn't bother me to have red eyes. It's only a pigment. It has nothing to do with religion or the devil or anything like that. <clears throat> so she's uh, my first red-eyed hamster. And you're going to be surprised what she looks like, guys, because she is a spitting image of my late Rizabi. And you know how much I love Rizabi. So it's that's going to be a bit getting to, you know, used to. So, yeah, we'll open her up now. And she came with this cage. Yeah, it's really, really, uh, so I'm going to give this a complete scour now cause, uh, and everything, give it complete clean. And don't worry, guys, I know it's the mini doona, and before anyone says it's too small, I know I hate small cages, but it's what she came with. And I'm going to order a, a nice big cage tonight and see if I can get it either uh, delivered Monday or Tuesday, depending on uh, how quick they do it. And uh, so she'll only be in it for a few days, a night or two. So don't worry, guys. I did the same with um, Maisie, if you remember. She was in the uh, the Savit Mickey for a few days, and I got her the do uh, the Duna Max there. And uh, Casper was the same. He was in the Duna Multi, and then so don't worry, guys. I promise you, she'll not be staying in this. And uh, I'm with Maisie at the moment. She's dropping weight again, so I really don't know what's happening with her. Really, we just got it. I'm still keeping up with uh, the, the vets and everything and the treatment, but never mind. So right, we'll get this little girl out. So she's nine weeks old. I'll tell you her name in a bit. So I'll just open the box, guys. I don't know if you can see her. Well, there she is. She's a platinum fawn. Hello, darling. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so there she is. Mmm, red eyes. Oh, you remind me of Ben, the film. Yes. <laughs> Hello. So I'll just put this down here for a minute. I want to get out this box and I can get this cage cleaned up. So there we go. Hello. Very unusual having a red eyed hamster, isn't it? Yes. Oh, you do look pretty. You do look pretty, darling. Hello. There we go. Didn't put any sawdust in either for her. None of her own bedding. Oh, you have had a bed. Oh, hello. Hello. And you gorgeous. Eh? You're very unique. You look just like my little Zami do. Yes, you do. Hello. Yeah, so she's nine weeks old. She's uh she's a poor baby. She's chubby as well. Yeah, she you like your food? Yeah, you like your food. As they said she's very, very lovely. So So we're gonna get a cage clean and then we're gonna get you in a nice big cage in a few days. Yes. Right, guys, so I'm going to get cracking, and then once I put her in the cage, I'm going to reveal her name. But, uh Oh, are you a poser? Are you a poser? Eh? Are you a poser? I absolutely... She, oh, yeah, she's a Russian Campbell, by the way. Yeah, she's a Russian Campbell. And, uh So she was a quite nice surprise, because we weren't expecting to get you, was a sweetheart? Eh? And she's just, she's going to cheer me up because I've, like, you know, I've been through hell of a lot. And um, we're amazing. We really don't know how long she's got or anything like that. And because um, it's 
touch and go with her really from one from day to day. So um uh, I thought this little lady I'm doing her a favour by giving her a good home because uh, God knows how long she would have been there for. I would have took her sister as well, but um, I couldn't. But one of the staff said they'll um, had their eye on that on her. So, oh, look at that. Doesn't she look like Rizabi? Except she's got a bit more whiter on her chest. Oh, darling. Hello, sweetie puffy. And she's got a very, very posh old name that I'm giving her so it's very unique just for her so <laughs> it's gonna be unusual I've never had a red-eyed hamster <laughs> hello puffy yeah so uh, it'll give me something to focus on now because uh, as you know I've got three old um three old pets. I've got Sayer who's who's uh, on treatment for thyroid thyroidism and um kidney fa uh, disease and she's she's eighteen nearly. I've got Casper with his neurological problems and as we know Maisie, she's uh with a pyometra and stuff, so I just needed something else and uh I went in to get a robo and come back with you. Yes? Why do people not want you? Eh? Why? It's so sad, guys, because I was in Pesce Alma recently and uh, I'll just quickly tell you before I get crack of a cage. It was last week and uh, I was getting some supplies and um, I heard these two girls they were looking at the rabbits and um, one of the rabbits had red eyes and she goes, Oh, don't get that one. It's it's going to be evil. And I said to one of the staff, can you believe what they just said? And the, one of the staff heard it as well. And they goes, ignorance is bliss. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah. Um, it came with this wig bomb. So I'm going to give that a wash out and everything. And uh, put that in. And then, uh, yeah, at least you're out of there now, out of that little tank. Yeah. Your poor sister isn't though. I'm hoping that that uh, that staff member will take her, like he said. Yeah. <laughs> You're beautiful. Yes, guys. You should never be scared of getting a red-eyed pet. It's only the pigment in their eyes. That's all it is. It's just a, it's just a genetic thing. That's all. They're still the same. You could have an evil black-eyed hamster. It doesn't make any difference. But she was really good because the guy who's had her, who's been um, at pets at home, he's been looking after her. He's had her out every day while she's been there and playing with her and holding her. And she's just, uh, he said she's really, really good. Hello? Yeah. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. You can see her red eyes. <laughs> I was thinking of calling her Ruby, you know, because of her, her ruby red eyes. But I thought, no, there's always been a name I've always wanted, and it was one of next on my list. <laughs> Hello, baby. I'm going to have to shut your lid now and get out carrying on with your cage for you so we can get you to sleep, girl. Yeah? Yeah? And then you can rest and then leave you alone for a few days. And then start your taming um, sessions. And then you'll be in a nice big cage. Yes, you will, madam. <laughs> oh, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Hey. Right, guys, I'll get cracking now. Can't we stand here all day with a can we? So, I'll be back in a minute. Guys, this is why I ate small cages. I just don't agree with them whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, so I'll give you a quick tour. And then uh, we'll take it from there. And then we'll, I'll tell you her name and put her in and see what she thinks. And then um, there's just no work, just nothing for her to... I'll be so glad once I get that cage ordered tonight and get her out of this, the better. Then she could have a nice proper life. So, yes, what I've done is um, I've done her a nice little 
um, what's it called pink hamster at Ed House. This is the big one. Uh, I think I, I'm sure I did it in me all ages ago. I think I did, but I've got the small one as well as you know. So I've just put some bedding in there so she can sleep in there. I've, done, I've put something in there so if she wants to go in the toilet or sit in there to bask. I put some chews there. I put a little swing. So at least she'll have something to keep her occupied. Um, some chews. Wheel. Another chew. And I can't put anything here because of the water bottle. She won't be able to get to the water bottle. Just horrible, horrible. But at least we've got her out of that um, one which is only this size. So, <laughs> yeah. So now I'll put the shelf on. We'll show you that. Right. So this is the shelf. I'll put a food there which is on the pets at home muesli at the moment. That's what they were feeding her. Which um, <laughs> I'll put a couple of mealworms in for her. Just to give her a treat. I'll put the whimsy. Look at whimsy. Uh, a wigwam and then uh, yeah this has got a little bit of room to move about on and in the next few days I'll be moving her on to the bunny dream and the Vitacraft emotion <clears throat> so that's the basic layout at the moment oh I feel so bad but at least I've got her away from that because um, God knows what would have happened <laughs> if nobody wanted her for much longer so, so I'll just go and get the lid Right guys, this is the finished product. So I'll go and put her in it now and I'll reveal her name. And then when I sit down, I'm going to uh, have a look, scoot on the web and order her a big cage. So I was thinking of getting the Duna Fun large again because um, I give both of mine to the charity shop and I shouldn't have done because I really did love that cage. And it's, it is big as well, especially for a dwarf. With two levels, but um, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see what I can find. So we're we'll gonna get her, right, guys? She's in there somewhere. Can hear her. So the trusted cup. Uh, this is this cup I I always keep for new hamsters. Cup training. Beautiful. Come on. It's usually dead easy to cook train hamsters because they're so inquisitive. I've never had a problem with any uh, hamster yet, so we'll see how this little girl is. Come on, darling. You going in? You going to see your new home? You want your temporary home? Eh? Yeah. Come on then. Get something to eat and drink. Been a long journey, hasn't it? Hey, there you go. Good girl. Good girl. There we go. There you go, darling. Oh, we've got some nice clean bed. All you do is don't rush on, you just leave it like that. That's it, and move it gently. And there she goes. Now you can see her now. I shall reveal her name. Right guys, meet Arabella Rosa. <laughs> yes, so meet Arabella. Isn't she beautiful? You're beautiful, aren't you little girl? So you just got to uh, get her whereabouts and let her find what she's... Oh, she is a chunky thing, aren't you? Isn't she chunky? <laughs> yes, yeah, so there you go. So she knows where food is. I've never had a dwarf yet who likes um, whimsies, but I'm hoping she'll be the first. Yes. <laughs> it's only temporary, darling, so don't you worry. You've got an... At least you're a better air now. You're in the curve of my, of my hands. You won't want for nothing, my darling. No, you won't want for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, she's not sure about the ladders. <laughs> She'll get the hang of it. 
Hello? She's saying, I think I'll just have a quick nibble. We don't want to see your backside yet, young lady. <laughs> yeah, so um, the water bottle's here. I'm going to get one of the smaller ones out, out after. And uh, I think I've covered everything. So I know she's uh, going to be perfectly fine in here for a couple of days. And then she'll have a lovely big cage. Well, yeah. Oh, you are unique. Look at Arabella. Eh? No, you go down the ladder, darling. You go down the ladder. Oh, you go down the ladder, darling. She'll get the hang of it. She's got to. She'll they learn. So I see what I mean. She's obviously she's not had any ladders. So. <laughs> she said, how do I get off here? I want to explore. we got to learn. I'd help you, but I'd, I really want you to learn, darling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's a card. You're a card. There we go. Good job it's not too high them levels. There you go. She'll have a good scoot around as she's going in the exploring and whereabouts. <laughs> you gorgeous, aren't you? That is something I'm not scared of your red eyes, darling. Oh, there we go. I knew you'd do that. That's why I put plenty in. <laughs> yeah, guys. So I think she's uh, just exploring at the moment. So, guys, this is why I don't like small cages. Always try and make sure that they know where everything is. She's got to explore water in a minute. Whoop. <laughs> Why do I always get chunky hamsters? Eh, they feed you well, don't they? <laughs> Free feeding. You're going to get some nice food in a week or so. Yes, you are. Get you off that stuff. I used to like them, um, well not fully like it, but I used to like uh, pets at all muesli, but they've changed the, uh, the what's it, what's she doing, let's have a look. You can hear a scuttling about there. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely horrible, this cage. I really don't like it. But um, I just felt so sorry for her. I had to bring her home. And at least if I got her home, I know I can get her a nice cage then and... Uh, See what happens. <laughs> you could have you found your bed? Eh? You found your bed. Arabella. Arabella. <laughs> yeah guys, so uh, that's her story and I will be doing a, a full cage review uh, not review cage tour when I put her in the new cage in a, in a uh, few days 
and uh, do some taming sessions as well. I'll try and see uh, what she's like. I've not touched her yet or anything like that. But apparently uh, they all have her pets at home and she's uh, she just lies in your hands. She freezes and lies in your hands and just doesn't mind. So, yes. <laughs> I just made that cake really nice for you, madam. Yes, you're making it your own, are you, darling? Eh? Yeah, guys, so... Um, I'll be going to pet home next week once the baby robots are ready. And uh, I had a quick nose yet on, like I said, yesterday, but they're not ready yet. So um, I have to wait a week. And then provided I'm quick enough and nobody gets them before, uh, <laughs> then I'll be having uh, another one. <laughs> uh, let's see where she's going. I can see some movement. But that's about it. I can see some movement. Yeah, let's make sure that uh, look all that. What's it goes there? Are you coming out? Are you coming out, Arabella? <laughs> yeah, guys, so I think that's everything. She's got a wigwam there, which I doubt she'll use now because I think she's made a bed. I think she's found her own bed. And uh, she's got a whimsy there, like I said, which she totally bypassed. So we'll see what happens. And, uh, yeah. I think she's gone to sleep. Has she gone to sleep? Can see some movement there, can't we, guys? <laughs> right, guys, so that's Arabella. There we go, guys. Why is it going blurred? Let's do it on a minute, guys. There we go. Right, thank you. Yeah, guys, so that's it for now. Well, uh, you, you'll probably see... Well, you will see lots more of little... Uh, Arabella. And, uh, yeah. So, cheerio.